Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be proving that 3 plus 3 is equal to 5. Now, make sure to stick to the end of the problem, where I have three bonus problems that are similar to this one, which you guys can try to solve. Alright, so I have 3 plus 3 is equal to 5. So we want to prove the statement to be th true. So first off, let's say we have 0 equals 0. I'm going to start with this. We have 0 equals 0. Now for my left-hand side, 0, this is the same thing as 9 minus 9, right? Because 9 minus 9, anything minus itself is 0. And for my right-hand side, I'm going to rewrite 0 as 15 minus 15, which is also equal to 0. So I'm not going beyond the rules of mathematics here. This is just simple. This is just going by the rules. So now, 9, this is equal to 3 squared. So if I replace 3 squared with 9, I have 3 squared minus 3 squared. And now 15, this is equal to 5 times 3. So now I have 3 squared minus 3 squared is equal to 5 times 3 minus 5 times 3. And again, this is also going by the rules of mathematics. Now, an important property of algebra is that if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. And this is a very common property. So as you can see, in this case, for 3 squared minus 3 squared, a is equal to 3, and so is b. So now I have 3 plus 3 times 3 minus 3 is equal to 5 times 3 minus 5 times 3. Now, for my right-hand side here, I'm going to go ahead and factor out 5. So if I factor out 5, I get 5 times 3 minus 3. All I did was I divided 5 times 3, 5 times 3 divided by 5 is 3, and negative 5 times 3 divided by 5 is negative 3. So that's how I got 5 times 3 minus 3. Now, if I divide both sides by 3 minus 3, these two cancel out, and these two cancel out. So now I'll be left with 3 plus 3 is equal to 5. And as you can see, we just proved this to be right. 3 plus 3 equals 5, 3 plus 3 equals 5. So if you're wondering how this is actually wrong, well, it's because this step over here. I divided both sides by 3 minus 3. Well, what is 3 minus 3? Three? 3 minus 3 is simply equal to 0. And if I come over here, I have 3 plus 3 times 3 minus 3, this is 0, is equal to 5 times 3 minus 3 is 0 as well. So now, if I divide both sides by 0, well, 0 divided by 0, that's not equal to 1, that's undefined. So you can't actually cancel these two out because these two are undefined. Dividing these two are undefined. So that's where this equation is actually wrong, and 3 plus 3 does not equal 5. All right, so I'm going to prove that negative 1 is equal to 1. So let's first start off with negative 1 is equal to negative 1. This is a true statement because any number is equal to itself, right? So now, negative 1, this is the same thing as negative 1 to the power of 1. Any number to the power of 1 is also equal to itself. So negative 1 to the power of 1, that's also equal to negative 1. And 1, this is the same thing as 2 over 2. So if I replace 1 with 2 over 2, I get negative 1 to the power of 2 over 2 is equal to negative 1. And 2 over 2, again, it's 1, so it's the same thing as negative 1 to the power of 1. Now, 2 over 2, 
This is the same thing as 2 times 1 half. So now if I replace 2 over 2 with 2 times 1 half, I get negative 1 to the power of 2 times 1 half is equal to negative 1. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is the same thing as a to the power of m to the power of n. So in this case, m is equal to 2 and n is equal to 1 half. So now I have negative 1 to the power of 2 to the power of 1 half. This is equal to negative 1. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of 1 half, this is the same thing as the square root of a. So this is the same thing as Well, first off, negative 1 squared, that's simply equal to 1, right? So now I have the square root of 1 is equal to negative 1. And the square root of 1, that's simply equal to 1. So now I have 1 is equal to negative 1. So I just proved to you guys that 1 is equal to negative 1. All right, so I have x to the power of x is equal to x to the power of 2. So right here, I want to find the value of x. So for my solution, first start with x to the power of x is equal to x to the power of 2. Now, if you notice here, a very obvious solution to this would simply be 2, because we already have 2 over here and these two are going to be the same. So x equals 2 is an obvious solution because if I plug this in, I get 2 to the power of 2 is equal to 2 to the power of 2. 2 to the power of 2 is 4. 2 to the power of 2 is again is 4. So this is an obvious solution. So we already have one solution based upon first glance. However, this isn't the only solution to this problem. So to find all our solutions to this problem, Let's actually go ahead and solve this equation. So I first start with x to the power of x is equal to x to the power of 2. Now I'm going to divide both sides by x to the power of 2. So then these two cancel out, and now I'm going to be left with x to the power of x over x to the power of 2 is equal to 1. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m minus n. So in this case, x to the power of x over x to the power of 2 is going to equal x to the power of x minus 2, which is equal to 1. Now, if I take the natural log, or in other words, ln on both sides, I get ln x to the power of x minus 2 is equal to ln 1. Now, if I have something in the form ln a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front. So this is going to equal b times ln a. So in this case, I can move x minus 2 to the front. So this is going to equal x minus 2 times ln x is equal to ln 1, which is the same thing as 0. Now, this is going to give me two equations. I have x minus 2 is equal to 0, and I also have ln x is equal to 0. So for x minus 2 equals 0, I simply add 2 on both sides. These two cancel out. And I have x is equal to 2. And this was a solution we already got based upon first glance. However, now for ln x equals 0, x has to, well, to solve this, I'm going to first take e to the power of on both sides. So now I have e to the power of ln x is equal to e to the power of 0. Now e and ln, these two cancel out. So for my left-hand side, I have x is equal to e to the power of 0 is 1. That's anything to the power of 0 is 1. So my two solutions are 2 and 1.